playing hockey with men uh, is easier actually in some ways. Uh, I think when you're dealing with guys, guys typically want to know, just tell me what to do and I'm going to go do it. They're very task oriented and uh, just get, get the job done. For me, it was all about proving myself. Once I did that, I was always fine on any team that I played for. Um, when you play with women, I think women tend to want to know why. They ask a lot of questions. Um, you know, they're, they're very attentive, good listeners, really keen to, to do it right, um, but definitely pay more attention to the, the little details. So it is a different feel. Uh, you can't lead, I would say, as abruptly with women as you can with, with men, especially in my experience in hockey. So it makes the, the two very different in terms of the style that you have as a leader. Well, off the ice, I think it's really no different. Obviously, in business, you don't have the element of uh, uh, the physical competitive nature, so that, that changes the dynamic a bit. But you still have uh, you know, to deal with both male and female personalities. You have egos. You've got to mix the two together. And I think the best working atmosphere tends to be a mix of male and female and just a nice, uh, a nice vibe that way. I think, ultimately, whether you're dealing with, with men or with women, people really appreciate you when you're authentic, when you're honest up front, and when you do what you say and, and, and mean what you say, and that's tended to be my experience anyways. Well, I think it's a good way to describe leadership as an art because I don't think there's one single way to lead. I think every person has their own strengths and weaknesses, and within that you have to figure out what works for you and what helps you connect with other people. So that's really where the art comes into it in terms of finding that niche for yourself as a leader. And then I think leadership is a constantly evolving thing. Um, every day, I know I learn a little bit more about leadership or you meet people with different styles of leadership and, and say, okay, maybe I'll, I'll take that and use that. And, and as you grow and change as a person, your um, effective leadership ultimately changes as well. So uh, it's always a constant flowing thing.